when we were um, when we were on that down from space, I we had to parachute down because the rocket ran out of fuel, and I, I had to do this exact thing. <laughs> Did I tell you that I have that recently I went to space and I, I saw an alien. And did I, you I, really? I did. I did. I I sat dying. I shook hands with it and um, I, I flew back down to Earth. It was incredible. When he asked me to shake his hand, I, I didn't know what to do. There must have been 30, 40 fingers on each hand. I didn't want to seem disrespectful and count them in front of him. He kept on trying to get me to pull his finger again. I just don't understand. I just didn't understand him. And then, and then he just started running around real fast, just spinning around, and uh, it just flies. It was, it was, it was incredible. And then he just swoops back down and picks me up. He, he grabs me with uh, one of his forty fingers and just carries me up. And then while we're up there, he, he just starts urinating. And I said, "Don't worry, I have the same problem." And while we were up there, everybody just started throwing rocks at us. I said, what did I do? What did I do? I, I just did, I didn't do anything. I, did, but I guess that's part of their culture. So he flew me back down, and uh, he told me he had some old VHS tapes of the show and asked me if I'd like to watch it with him. And, uh, of course, yeah, I don't want to be disrespectful. And I, I, watched, I watched some of the show with him. And then he asked me, can you help me build a spaceship? And I, I didn't know what to say. I've, I've never built a spaceship before in my entire life. I... I, I piloted one, and I've been the captain, but not, I'm, I've never built one. So I said, instead of building a holder spaceship, just come back on ours as he planted Earth. So as we're coming back, he just gets up from his chair. I don't know why, but he just started pressing all the buttons. And I said, you got to stop doing this. Stop pressing all the buttons. And, and he would have stopped. So I just grabbed him, and, and he turned around, and he slapped me with, with all 40 of his fingers. I don't, I don't know if he's ever been slapped with 40 fingers, but it, it hurts about eight times as much as a human hand. I said, all right. That's it. We need to get off. But he wouldn't leave, so we had to push him out while we were still in space. And uh, I'll tell you, he, he wasn't going without a fight. We asked him nicely, but he just it started slapping everybody, all 80 fingers, everywhere, just slapping everybody. And so I, we were going to take that, and so I, I had to kick him off the ship. And he said, you need to get out, and do you want to get out? So we, we had to push him off the ship while we were still in space. And so we push him out, and he just starts flying away. Turns out he, he could fly in space, and he didn't even need a ship. But, why would you ask me to build a ship if you could fly in space? So I go back to my chair. I go to sit down, and I hear an alarm going off. And what what is that sound? And it turns out we're losing fuel. And I guess during the fight, he must have pressed a button. So I, I turn to my crew and I say, "If we want to make this, we're going to have to jump out of the ship right now in space. We're going to have to parachute back down into Earth." And that's what we did. I go back to space again. I wouldn't want to be him again.